What's up, it's your boy Remus, and in this video we're gonna be reviewing this book called Games People Play, The Psychology of Human Relationships. But it's not just speaking about human relationships in terms of love and romance, it's also speaking about relationships in terms of uh, work, friends, parents, just people in general. And it's speaking about the fact that um, a different types of communication is being done, and that's what they refer to as games. Games are being played to, um, you know, get certain things, you could say. So, we're going to review and we're going to talk about what things that we can take from this book. And maybe you might want to buy it too. We're going to review it. It starts off, starts off by talking about the fact that soci socialization... No, social communication is at the heart of everything we do as a species. So... The context of the book is founded on the necessity of social interaction in relation to health. It talks about the fact that mental health is just as important as physical health and mental deprivation can cause biochemical damage uh, like just like physical deprivation, uh, deprivation can as well. So because of that, social intimacy is vital for health. Social depravity is a number one punishment. You see this in prisons. For example, when someone's um, um, being punished in prison, they get taken out of, uh, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but they get taken out, taken from the rest of the prisoners, put in the hole, and um, they're not able to socialize. So that's the number one punishment, even in the place where there is already a punishment. And social organization is, is used for political compliance or political movements. So think about the fact that in order for a political movement to take place, it usually starts off with a social push, like unity. So it speaks to the importance of social socializing for humans. Now on an individual level, this is the next part you learn from the book. Um, there are different parts of us there, which are called ego states, which we're communicating from. It, it involves the parent, the child, and the, no, the parent, the adult part of us, and the child part of us. Um, and the child part of us is like the vulnerable, creative side of us. It's necessary, necessary for create creativity and spontaneity. The adult is necessary for um, survival. And then the parent part of us is, is also for survival. But it, it, it's passed down from the form of traditions and parental guidance or what your parents taught you. Now you have these three parts of you and they're communicating um, to the other person's other ego states. So for example, your parent part could be speaking to their parent part. Your parent part could be speaking to their child part or like your adult part could be speaking to their adult part. And once you guys find harmony in terms of like an agreement of, okay, this part of me is speaking to that part of you. There's harmony in the conversation. But once you, if you try to change it, there's a bit of disharmony until it becomes accepted. So someone could be an adult speaking to the adult part of you, but really subconsciously they could be spe speaking from a, um, like as a parent to the child part of you. And that could be like, if you have a teacher, for example. So it kind of goes on about that. Yeah, you can communicate on the surface through one ego state and you could subconsciously communicate on another level. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And, okay. With each ego state, a particular mind state comes with predetermined sets of behaviors that follow the pattern of that mind state. Um, and what the way we act depends on which part of us is taken over. Is it the childlike beliefs we have? Is it our own adult reasoning or our parental programming and that's what i learned from this book that was only in chapter one though it was in part one it had part two but i wasn't interested in part two because the con i would say to to this book is that it was way too complex it was to, for me it was written way too technical and complicated so i i literally couldn't get through it i got bored so i just finished it so in conclusion if you're gonna read the part the first part of it i think it's good but after that i probably wouldn't recommend it because i just didn't find it interesting after that point but i did um get those lessons from it and um yeah i wouldn't recommend it but i would say that's something you could learn from it 
So I hope that helped and then you can consider if you want to get it yourself. Peace. I'll see you in the next video.